So here we are in the garage working on the side by side. Got the roll cage off and the seats out. And what I'm trying to do is break it down and make it run better because I think the head, uh, I think the valve seats in the head are bad and it's uh, causing it to leak oil down into the cylinder. Uh, and it may need a piston and rings. It's only got 3,000 miles on it, so I'm going to check the compression, which is abnormally high at 180 to 212 psi, which I thought was odd. And uh, then get the head off and probably take it to a head shop. And, uh, and then we'll see, you know, what needs to be done and get it done from there. I'm also going to videotape the whole thing so that way I can uh, have a reference on it. Because the manual, I got it online, it's a PDF. They want like $200 for the real manual, a hard copy. And it's 500 something pages, so I don't want to print 500 pages off. Uh, so I got it over here on my laptop. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's kind of a pain in the ass to do things on a laptop. But we'll make it work, so. I got a bunch of lights strung up because I like light. Light is important. And then over here, nice heated garage. Lindsay's parents are nice enough to let me work on this in their garage. They're out of town, so I shouldn't be in their hair. Anyways, that's that. Well, I got all the uh, valve cover six millimeter bolts off there's like 15 on the outside and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming off and in here in the tappet cover there's two more holding it on yeah so taking those off and then hopefully get this thing off but we also got this like not quite sure what this is um, it's like a got a eight millimeter here and another six millimeter there uh, haven't figured out what that is yet but we got to separate that in order to get the valve cover off of the cylinder head well I got the valve cover off I had to get this cam sprocket off it's got uh, valve compression release uh, weights I guess on it so that should be interesting we'll see how that goes all right got the head off now there's the cylinder as you can see and so I'm gonna take that off and check it the micrometer to see if it needs to be replaced then piston and rings obviously because it's at 60 pounds and uh, it's weird because it's only got 3,000 miles on it anyway my helper returned huh huh oh, bandit did you return he's here to help me mostly just somebody to talk to say bye All right, I got the cylinder off. You can see there's the piston. Put some paper towels down in it so no dirt goes in the crankcase, hopefully. The next step is gonna be checking this with the micrometer. Seeing if it needs to be replaced or if we could just do the piston.
all right so I got the cylinder head all cleaned up and uh, how to get the timing chain back on it's hard to see but there's the timing chain guide and it has to be in there right so I got this all cleaned up and put back on with my new head gasket um, now it's time to get the bolts in and torque down to 27 foot pounds so and after that we'll have to do the uh, cam cam sprocket and whatnot so well I got the cylinder head on uh, I didn't videotape it and the timing chain and cam super pain in the butt and now I'm working on the valve cover uh, it's got like 20 something hex heads on it so coming along odor is done also got the exhaust hooked up which is a pain the brakes finished so as it sits right now it should start up and run great but I'm gonna wait to put the bed on I'm gonna wait till Lindsay gets here to help me with that so I still gotta do wiring I gotta bleed the brakes which I need Lindsay here to do and then I need Lindsay's help to put the roll cage back on at least set it on there so I can bolt it down so. got her all done I uh, hooked up this plow on it off of a lawn tractor. So I tested it out, it works good. I'm, I bought a new carb online though because the carburetor is kind of old and funky.